Hey everyone, this is Matthew here with buildyourownblog.net and in this video I want to talk about your appearance settings in your WordPress dashboard. So you want to come over here and hover on appearance and you'll see here as you scroll down that everything that has to do with the appearance of your blog is found here. Themes, customizations, widgets, menus, header, the background, and editor. Here in themes, you will find your various layout choices. All of the different themes that you have used at one time are stored here or that you've purchased. Whatever theme you're using, once you have that theme up, then you can come over to customize, which is where you can change colors and change your layouts. You can think of customize as like a visual editor. Next under appearance you have the widgets which are boxes that you can use to set up sidebars and different box areas on your website. Widgets can be used not just in the sidebars but also in the header and the footer. Menus are not where you order a cheeseburger and fries. The menus are where you place your links like in the top navigation bars and in the footers. Like for example on my site, up here in the top navigation bar, I have blogging tips about me, contact me, and privacy, as well as social media buttons. Where your menus can be placed will depend on the theme that you're using. Next is the header, and this is where you can change the title of your blog or add a logo to your blog at any time you wish. And depending on your theme, you can also possibly change the background color of your website or your web page or even place a photograph in your background using the header. That also happens here in the header and it does depend on which theme you have. And the editor is for those of you that are a little more advanced technologically. If you know how to write some code then you will be using the editor function. I would advise you not to make any changes in the settings of the editor unless you really know what you're doing. And then if you do use the editor, I recommend that you save an offline version of your website so you can have that backup needed if necessary. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you would like additional video tutorials on various WordPress subjects, visit buildyourownblog.net forward slash video.